union of high and low, sky and earth, woman and man, the first knot, beginning of the spiral, life and death, birth and rebirth. My name is Cecilia Vicuña. I am here at the Turbine Hall of the Tate at the foot of the brain forest Kipu. Since I was a young girl, I grew up in a fertile paradise of plants and forests and lagoons and people who love being there. I experienced the land as a land full of beauty, full of mystery, full of different understandings. Part of that learning was the encounters that I had as a young girl with indigenous people. If you are Chilean, like I am, you are brought up in a colonized culture that pretends not to be in the Andes. So the contrast between the mindset of the people who think that Latin America is an extension of Europe and the actual being there has been really the matrix of my work. I had a passion to discover what had been taken away from us. I was a teenager when I discovered the kipu and my emotional whole being response to the kipu was very intense. That kipu image crept into my poetry, crept into my art of its own accord, through its own strength. I see the kipu as an umbilical cord, not as just an umbilical cord between the mother and the child. The ancient people understood the kipu as a connectivity of the thread to the cosmos, because the thread stands for the thread of water, which is the thread of life. I am thinking of what happens from three metros para abajo. Uh -huh. yeah? So these creatures that you have been creating are going to be some is high, but most of them are going to be down. Everything that we do is collaboration. You know, we're breathing, we're collaborating with oxygen. We are eating, we're collaborating with the energy of the plants, which is the energy of the sun. Everything that we do is a collaboration with other people. As time goes by, the need to collaborate has increased. The true inspiration of the moment of now is the death of all the ecosystems in this planet. All of them are being destroyed. And that is what caused me to create the brain forest kipu, because I see the earth as a brain forest. And the brain forest includes all living systems into one. And that is the awareness that the kipu brings. When a forest has been hurt, people sing it back to life. And that's why there is this extraordinary music involved in the kipu to bring back the life of the forest. There is an immense field of knowledge that existed for millions of years in this planet. It is the legacy of us as humans, and yet we know nothing about it. We need to open up to that ignorance of ours. I believe that the strength of my art is listening, hearing to this interaction between these forms of knowledge that are present everywhere for us, as long as we tune in. The notion that collaboration is intrinsic to art is a key for me. It is made openly. Everybody who participates in the kipu feels fully acknowledged, fully seen, fully appreciated. And this generates a sort of feedback loop of joy, of pleasure, of fun, of delight and laughter and dance. The kipu can't go up without that joy. We are the thread, says she. To weave is to speak. 
thread in the air, cloud in the mud. <laughs>